Welcome back to ZOS Introduction. This is the 24th video in this series. The objectives of this video is to 1. Describe the RACF authentication process, 2. Describe the SAF role in the authentication process, and 3. Identify additional resources to advance your RACF knowledge and skill level. Generally accepted terminology for a system security professional includes the use of subjects, objects, DAC, and MAC. The relationship between subjects and objects are fundamental to maintaining data security. Subjects can be granted or denied the ability to manipulate an object where objects are protected resources. Discretionary Access Control, or DAC, and Mandatory Access Control, also known as MAC, are security rules where MAC is a higher level of security because MAC does not make an assumption that a subject has permission to an object that the subject has created. These generally accepted data processing security terms, subjects, objects, DAC, and MAC, will be used during the presentation to assist with the context of ZOS-based data security terminology. RACF terminology includes the need to understand user profiles, group profiles, data set, and general resource classes. User profiles and group profiles quantify subjects that might request the ability to manipulate a protected object. Dataset and general resource classes quantify the protected objects. RACF, part of Security Server, is an optional feature providing ZOS with a basic security framework to identify and authenticate users, authorize users to access protected resources, log and report attempted unauthorized access, and provide control over access to resources. Now let's use our generally accepted terminology to rephrase this chart. RACF provides a basic security framework to identify and authenticate subjects, authorize subjects to access protected objects, log and report attempted unauthorized access to protected objects, and provide control over access to, pro to protected objects. The diagram shows an overview of the RACF structure. User profiles are the defined subjects. Group profiles represent a named collection of defined subjects where the subjects have permission of, to objects as a result of the named group profile having permission to the defined objects. Dataset and general resource profiles are the defined objects. The top box, resource classes, can be thought of as a collection of related protected objects. The box without any error references, system options, represents the global behavior option settings that can be customized to toggle on or off specific control over the entire security environment. The diagram of RACF functions shown was copied from a RACF manual. While the RACF functions in the diagram are relatively self-explanatory, Observe the left side image with OMVS, Kix, and TSO categorized as resource managers. Here's a rhetorical question. Are resource managers subjects or objects? Before answering the rhetorical question, an awareness of SAF is needed. While RACF is an optional feature, ZOS is shipped with the System Authorization Facility, or SAF. SAF provides ZOS with the ability for other optional features to be used in place of RACF and SAF enables subjects to communicate with any optional feature security product that provides resource control. The diagram will help answer the rhetorical question. A subject defined by a user profile has valid identification and authorization credentials to establish a session with the resource manager such as TSO. However, the individual user with an established session to the resource manager does not have explicit access to all protected resource objects available to the resource manager. The resource manager is effectively another subject that must be permitted access to protected objects. The resource manager can have internal protected resource objects in addition to access to other protected resource objects. 
An example would be authorization to process a TSO protected resource. Using the diagram, one, the user requests permission to submit JCL. Two, the request to submit is passed along to SAF. Three, SAF follows through with the RACF database inquiry. Four, the result of the inquiry to submit is passed back to SAF. Five, SAF passes the result of the inquiry to the resource manager. And last six, the resource manager is responsible for honoring the security manager's permitted or denied recommendation for the individual user to submit JCL. It is possible to authorize all valid users of a resource manager to access a protected resource, but this decision will be the responsibility of the security administrator. While ISPF panels are available to a RACF security administrator, it is recommended for a RACF security administrator to learn the native RACF commands. A number of RACF provided utilities exist to assist with audit and maintenance of the RACF environment. However, there are several situations where the RACF panels are very useful. In this example, the panel provides a way to modify the password format rules global behavior for the security environment without having to figure out the operand syntax for the set RACF options command. RACF has a rich set of commands. The chart shows the most commonly used commands. The RACF permit command can explicitly permit a user's or subject's specified access level of authority to a protected resource or object. RACF will write immediate notification of security events in the system log. ICH is the RACF assigned three character unique component prefix for RACF modules and RACF messages. The ICH408I message is the immediate notification message that includes critical who and what information about an unauthorized attempt by a subject, the who, to an object, the what. The message also includes the subject's access intent along with the current subject's access level of authority. Shown here is an example of RACF commands to be processed when the submitted JCL is executed. The ALU, or Alta User Command, is manipulating the user profile ZIBM001, which was previously defined. The Alta User Command is changing the initial password to Blue Sky, and in the event ZIBM001 was previously revoked due to something like too many incorrect password attempts, the resume operand clears the revoked state. The permit command is permitting ZIBM001, the subject, to have read access to secret.data, the object, which is a previously added protected dataset class resource. The setRops list command lists all of the RACF global behavior options. To advance your RACF knowledge and skill level, IBM Red Book ABCs of, Pro of System Programming Volume 6 is a great place to start. A security server bookshelf is also available in the ZOS Internet Library for further information. In summary, you are better able to describe the RACF authentication process, describe the SAF role in the authentication process, and find additional resources to advance your RACF knowledge and skill level. Thank you for your time.